karma is about justice. It ensures that everyone faces the consequences of their actions. Those who wronged you, who treated you unfairly, will eventually face the results of their choices. The principle is simple. You reap what you sow. If they hurt you, tried to control you, or acted without considering your feelings, there's a price they'll have to pay. The universe operates on this balance, where no debt goes unaddressed. These individuals were so focused on controlling your life, pushing their own views, and insisting you do things their way, that they overlooked how it affected you. To them, only their feelings, perspectives, and values mattered. They wanted you to forget about your own thoughts and adopt theirs entirely, simply because they couldn't agree with how you chose to live. Since you didn't conform, it became a problem for them, even though it was never really about you. It was their own struggle with your independence. While you and those around you support each other's journey, these individuals couldn't handle your choices. Their desire to make your life their business became a heavy burden they now carry. By constantly focusing on you, they've created a mess that's now weighing them down. This is the consequence of their own actions. In trying to control you, they neglected their own growth and well-being. Their obsession with your life made them ignore their own needs, health and potential for self-development. Instead of focusing on their own journey or inner growth, they centered all their energy on criticizing you. They've forgotten about their own spiritual and personal growth, choosing instead to focus solely on what they think is wrong with you. Ironically, they believe nothing is wrong with them, as if they're beyond self-reflection. Now the consequences are catching up. By making your life their focus, they've lost sight of themselves. Their lack of self-awareness and misplaced energy has brought them to this point. It's a reminder that while they were busy watching you, they missed out on their own potential, creating challenges for themselves that they now have to face alone. They've made everything about your life. If they were doing something positive, perhaps it wouldn't be as harmful, even though ultimately your choices are yours to make. But instead, they're focused on you with no real understanding of who you are or what your life truly involves. Their actions don't make any sense to you and they clearly don't understand your path or the choices you make. They're constantly fixated on you, observing and analyzing every step, and it's affecting them more than they realize. Their own life is spiraling because they're so caught up in yours. Instead of investing energy in their own growth or progress, they're wrapped up in watching you, and it's leading to chaos in their own affairs. They're so busy minding your business that they're neglecting their own, and it's showing. Their life, like a failing business, is running at a loss because they're not paying attention to what truly matters for themselves. This obsession with your life has brought them nothing but unhappiness. They can't find real joy or peace because their energy is tied up in criticizing or controlling what isn't theirs to manage. It's the ultimate result of karma. By choosing to focus on your life rather than their own, they've blocked themselves from finding love, joy and contentment. How can anyone embrace them with kindness or compassion when they've cut themselves off from these connections? They've put up walls by constantly attacking or doubting you, making it difficult for anyone to offer them genuine kindness. They don't give you space to live freely, constantly interfering or casting judgment, and it's brought them nothing but loneliness. While you're living your life, they're trapped in this cycle of frustration and dissatisfaction unable to be inspired or move forward because they're too busy watching you. Their minds are overwhelmed while you continue to move forward, unbothered. Ironically, by making your life their problem, they've only created more problems for themselves. This is the reality they face, a life lacking in peace, all due to choices they made to focus on you instead of building their own happiness. As my father would say, don't let someone else's problems become your burden. But for these people, it's the opposite. They've turned your happiness into their frustration. They're constantly stressed because of their fixation on you. Obsessed with control, they tried to control your life, but you didn't let them. This inability to manipulate you is tearing them apart. They wanted you to follow their rules, to live according to their wishes, and it frustrates them that you won't bend. This frustration is something they've created themselves. Their own actions have brought them pain, lack and emptiness, because what we send into the world eventually returns to us. They didn't show you love or understanding. They judged you, constantly criticized you, and painted themselves as righteous while looking down on you. 
Ironically, they're blind to their own faults. Meanwhile, life goes on around you, filled with peace and hope. You're surrounded by positivity, enjoying moments in nature, and receiving good vibes. Karma, however, has caught up with them, and they're unable to find joy or peace because of how they treated you. Some have even taken their bitterness to social media, talking behind your back, spreading lies, and trying to damage your reputation. If you were weaker, such constant negativity might have broken you, but here you are, resilient and hopeful. Their lack of regard for your feelings shows how deep their issues run. They laugh at you, mock you, and find joy in trying to bring you down. But they don't realize that it's not about the first laugh, it's about the last. The one who laughs last, laughs best, and when it's their turn to face consequences, they won't enjoy the taste of their own medicine. They might struggle to swallow it, just as they've made others struggle with their actions. They dug a pit for you, but they'll end up facing the same fate. The cycle of actions returning to us is real. It's not about wishing harm, but recognizing that seeds of pain only bring pain in return. And while they continue their destructive ways, you're moving forward, filled with resilience and a renewed sense of peace. Those who tried to bring you down are now feeling the consequences of their actions. The weight of what they've done has become too much for them to handle. They can't sleep, and their minds are restless because they crossed a line with you, disrespecting and dishonoring you. They didn't realize who they were going up against. They shouldn't have chosen to challenge someone moving forward with strength and resilience. They thought they could defeat you, believing that their efforts to harm you would succeed. But no weapon aimed at you will ever work. They may bring their negativity, but it won't stick. It simply doesn't have the power to reach you. As co-creators with the universe, as connected to something greater, you stand protected. Your strength and connection to a higher power make it impossible for their efforts to succeed. What they sent out will eventually come back to them. If they had chosen kindness, they would have been surrounded by peace and positivity. But by sending out negative energy, they've set themselves up for turmoil. In this brief time we all have on this earth, why choose to spread harm? This reminds me of a recent experience. I hired a man to build cupboards for a project I was working on, and I paid him a large deposit. Yet weeks went by with no updates from him. Eventually I found out he had passed away before completing the work. It's a reminder that life is short, and none of us can predict what comes next. This man was here one moment, with all these plans, and then he was gone. The lesson here is simple. Instead of holding on to anger or focusing on bringing others down, we should aim to live in harmony, peace and kindness. Life is unpredictable and our time here is limited. When we choose to act with positivity, we not only protect ourselves, but also build a life we can be proud of, free from the burdens of regret and negativity. A friend from my childhood was supposed to complete some work for me. He was a skilled joiner, known for his craftsmanship in hotels and other projects. Just recently, we shared some laughs, but yesterday morning I woke up to the news that he had passed away. Not only was his work unfinished, but so was his time here in this world. It's a reminder that life in this physical form is fleeting. Yes, the spirit lives on, but physical death is a reality. Reflecting on this, it makes me wonder, what's the point of all the fighting? of people causing each other pain and trying to control one another? Why spend time bringing others down or refusing to let them live in peace? Live and let live is a phrase with deep meaning. Letting others have their space to live their lives without interference is so important. The law of karma is simple. What you put out into the world, you'll eventually get back. No debt in the universe goes unpaid. Those who cause harm will face the consequences just as those who spread kindness will see positive outcomes. So why waste time on negativity when life itself is so fragile? I also want to thank those who have supported this channel and those who continue to watch and listen. Your kindness and support fill my heart with gratitude. This message isn't about asking for anything. It's simply to express thanks and to wish you all the blessings you deserve. Remember the best is yet to come.